it's Gary Cox, and I'm a senior consultant with Bluefish Development Group. And today we're going to talk a little bit about um, <clears throat> using Java delegates with activity in Alfresco. And we had done a previous video uh, a while back where we talked about some issues with getting a Java delegate to be registered correctly so that activity could call it. Um, this video is kind of extends that a little bit. We're going to actually make use of a Java delegate within an activity workflow. Um, basically, when you have an activity workflow, um, this using a delegate like this gives you a chance to do call calls back to Alfresco, so you can perform different any basically any actions that you need to do. Uh, the advantage of a Java delegate is that it's uh, instantiated and initialized via Spring, so you have access to the service registry, you have access to all those different things when you make a call out to your Java class uh, via the delegate. Um, Alfresco actually provides a wrapper, uh, basically. Uh, Java delegate base, a base Java delegate class that you can extend, and that allows um, very easy to write a custom class that uses this. Um, in the example today, we're actually going to just, it's a very simple workflow. It's a, a start block, a script block, one user block, and then an end block. So it's real straightforward. The start block just has some, uh, we're imagining we're creating an employee form with some employee data, and you pick a template, and passes that on to the script, uh, which makes a copy of the template, um, and then creates or updates the employee folder and files the document there. So there's a copy of the template there. Um, in our sort of toy scenario here, um, the user would then download um, the form, print it out, maybe have them sign it, and upload a new version of it, and then complete the workflow. Uh, it's a very simple use case, kind of simplistic, but it's a really good example of a, a, some of, a good reason to call out to a Java delegate, because we're able to do stuff like uh, folder creation uh, based on data gathered from the workflow itself. Uh, we can do stuff like uh, copying files. Um, so we're, we're actually manipulating the package in the workflow, adding documents to the package as needed. Uh, if we wanted, we don't do it in this example, you could delete documents in a package if you needed to mod modify the package as the workflow progressed. Um, you could do pretty much anything you want to. You have access to the service registry, so you can make calls out to the search service or anything like that. We use um, the node service in this example um, just to uh, basically set some values on a, uh, a document and then file it. Um, and we use a date stamp basically to make it unique. Uh, so again, it's a very simple example, but it shows all the wiring that's required for uh, creating the um, Java delegate with the workflow. Um, so part of this uh, will be my environment in Clips, and we'll have a big brief demonstration where we'll walk through running the workflow and it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, so we're going to move over to my computer now, and I'll uh, have a desktop session where you can kind of see the example. Uh, in addition, um, this code will be available, um, so you can have it as an example to work by. Um, so you can make use of it that way as well. OK, so we're here at my desktop, uh, my local handy development environment, which is a share instance running under its own Tomcat uh, Alfresco instance backed by uh, MySQL. Um, we push uh, our amp, custom amps into uh, wars here that then we can roll out and test on our local development machine. Um, here is Eclipse. Uh, we've added activity to it so we can do workflow design uh, from Eclipse. And this is my very simple workflow. Um, and basically there's a start block and we have this script block. Um, and we'll take a look at that. That's kind of what we're interested in today. Uh, this task basically in the config, I specify a delegate expression, and this delegate expression uh, points at a class name, and this needs to be um, basically in, initialized through Spring. So if we go over to um, the context, our context files, we have a, um, a workflow classes context file, and we can see the delegate example being ID and that's the one we're calling, and that points back to this class um, that we're making use of um, to do our uh, folder manipulation, file manipulation. Um, just kind of as a best practice, we, we usually create an abstract delegate that we uh, point at if we have multiple delegates. Um, the reason for that is we need to depend on the activity bean registry. Uh, if the delegate doesn't get registered, it won't ever get called. Um, so a good, smart way to do this is to basically set up an abstract delegate and then have that as a parent of any delegates you create. And that way you never forget to depend on the activity being registry. 
So this is our uh, bean context. The other stuff, we have like a model and a workflow context file. It's the usual stuff. Um, within the Java class itself, I have a, a delegate example right here. Um, and here you can see we extend base Java delegate. And that's the uh, class that basically Alfresco provides kind of as a wrapper. Um, and this class doesn't do a whole lot. Basically, we get uh, the delegate execution comes in and we can do things like uh, get variables out of the package. So here we're grabbing um, the BPM package, which ends up being a node ref. A node ref. So we convert that to a script, road, script node um, and then get the node ref out of that. And this package is basically the workflow package of documents. And I can add documents to that now or delete if I wanted to. Um, the next thing we do is grab a template node. Um, this is set by the user when they start the workflow. They point at a document that we'll call a template, which actually is, it could be, it's just a file, but it, um, in theory, in our use case here for, as an example, this would be the form that was going to be filled out. Um, so we grab the node ref from that, um, and then we can make use of it. The other field we do, we grab um, one of the values that was set, uh, just one, we could grab more, but we're grabbing the employee ID, which is actually a, a text field in the workflow model and uh, we cast that to a string, and we'll make use of that ID to set the folder name. Now, you can grab as many variables out of the workflow execution as needed. Um, for this example, we just use a couple. Then we do some checking to make sure we got stuff set. Um, basically, have a static pointer to where all the employee file folders live underneath uh, this employees folder. It's a little, uh, little, little cheesy for you know, the real world, but it makes a good example. Um, because normally this would be done through some kind of configuration, or at the very least, it would be an alfresco global property setting, something like that. But for example, this uh, static path is fine. Um, then we do a little magic where we are basically going um, to grab the template name out of the, the template ref that was passed. Uh, we're going to timestamp, and the reason we do that is we just want to make a unique file name uh, in case somebody ran this twice in a row, they wouldn't get a name collision when they tried to file a form. Um, so we end up with a document name, and then we're going to use that um, in, a, in a few minutes to when we actually create the copy of the template to put into the employee folder. Um, so here's the template copy node ref. So basically we use the copy service. And again, all these services are available, so um, you, know, you have a lot of power from a do Java delegate class. And we basically take um, the template node, make a copy of it, name, rename it to the new name, and, and that copy goes in the employee folder. Um, so we actually, um, then we're going to do one more thing, which is we're going to add this as a child to the workflow package. And so if you notice, we run through the workflow. On the first step, um, the, the initiator of the workflow um, points at a template. But when you see the next user task after the script task, um, that file is actually a different file. It's um, the copy of the file that's been renamed and filed in the employee folder. Um, and that's basically it. We also have some private methods that gets called here. One to create the employee folder if it's needed, um, and one just to, one helper class just to uh, get node rest by path. And this is actually this example is actually right out of the Alfresco wiki. This node rest path. Um, and lastly, we have a little simple helper method to do get timestamp, which is just a ends up being a little string uh, that we append to the name to make it unique. And so that's the entire uh, delegate class. Um, it's pretty simple, um, very kind of a toy example in some ways, but it, it actually shows kind of the power and the flexibility that you have if you use a Java delegate. Um, so from there, if we go to Alfresco Share, um, go into my human resources site. Um, there's a document library underneath that. We have employee, what I'm calling employee forms, which could be a bunch of different uh, templates or whatever that could be employee documents. This is just a lorem ipsum text Word doc um, employee forms. And then we have employee directory where we file by ID our employees. And you can see here how it's renamed. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, is just run through this workflow flow real quick. Uh, I'm going to run and run as admin and I'll assign it to myself. But So I go to start my workflow and then basically fire off my example delegate. Um, so here uh, you can see I'm, I'm selecting a template, but this doesn't get added to the BPM package. It gets used to make the copy that gets added to the BPM package. So I'm going to assign this workflow to myself so I don't have to log out, log in. 
and I'm going to make Fred Smith and his employee ID will be one, two, three. Um, I'm going to go pick a template and I have my employee form one template file. And now I'm going to start my workflow and it's going to run off. And behind the scenes, it's actually going to have created the employee folder if it didn't already exist, which in this case it does not. And it's going to create a copy of that form so that we're, we're making any new versions that are uploaded or not uh, uploaded on top of the template, they're uploaded on top of the, uh, the, the correct employee document. You can see here in recently modified documents that this has already been created and filed. If I click on this document, we'll go off to the employees folder and underneath employee ID 999. Here's my lorem ipsum text form. And so if I uploaded a new version here, it would be on this uh, copy of the template and not the original document. So now, because I assigned it to myself, if I go back to my dashboard, I'm actually going to see that I got my own task back here. And you can see the new the, the uh, package ID, the package document, is basically not the template. It's the copy of the document that I filed away. Um, now, this task in our use case here would be something where they would um, download the file, maybe print it, and upload a new version, a scanned, signed copy, and that could be filed away uh, in Alfresco. Um, so we're just going to say, okay, we've done that, and it will complete my task, and task is done. And that's basically it. So now we have, if we go off to the site, um, we now have two employees that have created a form. And you see the timestamp here, and that's basically it. Um, so that is the Camtasia example. Um, I think um, this could be extended. Uh, I have an aspect that was created that um, if I had a little more time, I would have uh, populated the aspect data and attached it to the document. And that way you have employee data associated with the actual form itself. And it's a really easy thing to do, just a few more steps. But there's all sorts of things you could do to extend um, this example. And thanks for watching. Again, the code uh, will be available. Um, it's just a few files, but it's a good, uh, a good sample, and it shows kind of how the wiring required to create um, basically a, a simple workflow that calls a Java delegate.